In this video, we will learn why you should not implement a feature just because it is easy to implement. I have been guilty in my career for doing that at some point in my life. And uh, I'm going to explain why you should not implement a feature just because it's easy, just because it was simple, just because it's a single line of code, because implementing that feature could actually makes more harm then good. How about we jump into it? Guys, if you're new here, my name is Hussein, and I discuss backend engineering mainly in this channel. So if you like this stuff, subscribe, like this video, and uh, let's just jump into this video. So implementing features, guys, I, I can still remember how many times we sat down, a bunch of us, uh, to design a, a, a new product or to design a new feature to add to an existing product. And uh, the, the, the process is usually you have a list of things that you want to this product to achieve. It always starts with a very small list. However, as you start designing, you will, you will get distracted by the things you can do and this, as engineers, we get really excited. And not just engineers, I would say developers actually get more excited from my experience to implement things because they think of, of how, how they can write the code, whereas engineers, which are a little bit having overall picture of the product, we think about of the, of the big picture, we think about the customer, we think about how the software will look like, not how we can write the code essentially right so that that drift from what you want to build into what you can build could 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 actually break the product and could actually slip the dates and could 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 lead into disasters all right let me give you an example where adding you, you want to implement a single feature and to do that you're going to add a single parameter however as easy as it sounds to add a REST API new parameter to the JSON uh, object or, or to the post request or adding a new method, that sounds very, very simple. Oh, just add that. However, if you really think about the whole story, what does that parameter mean to the existing parameter? The story changes. It's like, wow, okay, what happened if I pass in this parameter and this parameter at the same time? What happened if I don't pass it? What's the optional value? What's the default value? You, you have so much questions that you are obliged to ask. And that it's not just adding a parameter. The act of enabling that parameter in the API on the back end or adding that extra column on your database uh, table or, or adding an index is not that. We're talking about the user experience and by user here are our users as backend mainly are front end engineers or front end developers, right? That's, that's how, how our, our users are, right? Because they are using, they're consuming our API from the backend. So, so adding that single parameter, first of all, it's expensive. Don't just think about just that line. The second part is adding that parameter can enable you f implicit features that you haven't thought about. It's just like, wow, adding that parameter actually enables me to do this, 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 this. Be careful of this. If you, and, and, and I'm sure some of you are yelling, it's like, yeah, 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 I, I can, I can, I can, uh, I can definitely relate to that. And, and yes, because if you, if you have done this, uh, like me, I've done, done this for 15, 16 years now, and, and you will see this pattern coming repeatedly all the time. It's like, okay, oh, I added this feature. Oh, we're going to get this, 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 this for free just because I added this. Be careful of that. Very, Be very, very careful of that. You set to implement this feature, and you did this task, which is adding that parameter to the REST endpoint or, or, or whatever GraphQL if you're into this kinky things, right? And, and if you added that, you, by default, going to enable other stuff, right? Going to enable this feature and this feature and this feature. 
be very careful because do you, first of all, want to enable these features to the users? This is what you want to do. This was, you sat down and spent a lot of time to come up with this requirement to add this feature. Now, all of a sudden, you just added a bunch of other features that the user did not ask for. Forget about the user. The, 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 the owner of the product did not ask for who talked to the user, obviously, who talked to the customer, right? And, and so this is the first thing. Do the users actually need that? If not, and you don't envision even the using them, disable them. And yes, this means actually more work for the developer to disable explicitly these features that got automatically enabled by the act of enabling or adding that parameter. You might want to actually physically disable these features so that they just don't magically show up. Why? Because, well, first of all, the customer didn't ask for them. And, and if, if, if you don't want to add features, because it, the more they are added, the customers got to start using them. And as a result, you got to start supporting them, son. So if, the, if, they, if you found a bug on this path code, then you have to start supporting it. Do you really want to support something that you didn't even envision to, to support? That's what you want to avoid. That's the first thing. The second thing is these features can actually cost not just on the long run supporting these features because that's expensive and you don't see that cost. The second thing is the actual cost of, of, of executing these features can be extremely expensive, right? Accidentally enabling this feature could be used. And then when you start using it, you need to test it. You need to work with it and you need to make sure it works, right? Despite you just focus, you, this is what you wanted, but you start now, yeah, now you have other stuff to worry about. This feature might actually slow down your production. First of all, it wasn't even planned. Second, it, it accessed the path that uh, did, let's say, a full table scan and uh, give you a huge payload and, and give you all this stuff and, 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 and uh, slow down your backend. And as a result, your, your, your servers are, are all at 100% CPU usage. For what? For something you didn't even want to enable. So always think about these side features. Yeah, it's very easy to enable, right? Because, oh, we got this feature for free. It's very, let's enable it. Let's just do it. Because it's easy, right? The development effort is easy to enable, but the, the, the afterthought of, of coming and, and supporting this thing could be a really, really, really expensive. Yeah, a feature could be very easy to implement, but the the cost of implementing that thing that just enables magic features could be very very high at later date because you need to support this you need to test this and you had no idea you have never thought of these things through anyway because you had no idea what 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 could this do it could actually break down your backend just because you added features that you didn't uh, nobody asked for so, and then and, 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 uh, fourth item is security stuff. It's just what kind of security bugs did we just introduce to us? And I can't think of a lot of examples. I can't, I can't come to my mind right now, but I've seen a lot of things that these bugs that people claim had features are just undesired because, hey, we did this, and as a result, this showed up. Right, most bugs are actually like that. If you think about it, just they show up as a result of implementing something. Now, whether you know it or not, this is a different thing. That's why the discussion between is this a bug or a feature that that can drag for an hour. Obviously, that discussion. But I just wanted to discuss that today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give this video a like, subscribe for more back indie stuff, and I, I have over four hundred videos. 
460 actually discussing back-end technology and sometimes I talk about the front end and performance and stuff like that and databases and proxies and web servers and and, and all things back-end so if you like this stuff subscribe and check out the other content of the channel I'm gonna see you in the next one you guys stay awesome goodbye